YouTube, the man already George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bible and Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. As you know, there's two more shows left for the start of the Olympia, and these two shows are a uh, qualification for the Olympia. Um, the one show is coming up is going to be this uh, Saturday, and that's going to be the Linda Murray Norfolk Pro. Now, it debuted last year, 2020. As you know, last year was a uh, it was a mess, but they was able to get the show together. They did it in um, Savannah, Georgia. And, you know, the Norfolk show was canceled, but this is the Savannah Pro. And, you know, this is a, a, a new upcoming show for Linda Murray. And, and what Linda has done for this one is she didn't say anything like Norfolk. The is only really, um, I think it's uh, three divisions and it's women's bodybuilding, men's physique, classic and figure. So, you know, men bodybuilders not going to take up a lot of uh, uh, time away from female bodybuilders. And also there's no women's physique. So I was surprised about that one. I mean, you know, I think last year they, they had a physique last year. I believe they did. Oh, I, I can't remember. But my guess, she was able to swing the show. I mean, most definitely you know the IBB, they want men's bodybuilding. But she said, well, we put a men's um, classic physique. That works. You know, so, you know, let's go. Now, here is the list, the official list for the Savannah Pro. And it's like, a, like I say, 16 ladies. And, you know, I thought it might be a little more since this was like a, uh, next to last qualification, you know, for the Olympia. As you know, the Rising Phoenix come up the week after that, and the Rising Phoenix is invitational. So these ladies had to compete for this show. Anyway, the list we'll start off with here is um, one Miss Whitney Armstrong. Now, she is from my home state of uh, North Carolina. She is from Charlotte, and she she made her bodybuilding debut at the Linda Murray Pro, at the Linda Murray um, Norfolk show. She tied with uh, um, Carla Marie Bradley. For ninth place, and she looks pretty impressive in this picture here. This is from the uh, Linda show in Norfolk, and depending on how she looks, she might do pretty good. Next up is a lady who I'm a fan of. I'm, I'm. We talk a lot on social media. I'm, we did interviews. She's been on my show, and um, this is one Miss Jada Beverly from uh, uh, Grove City, Ohio. And you know, Jada, she didn't do too well at the time, but she made the top ten. But like we've been talking, and she said she she she's been working on condition. She has an amazing body, a great physique. Um, you know, she said at one point she said, she said something about her suit didn't really work with her because you know she has a long torso. Jada's a tall chick, I'm at it. and she has an amazing physique. And I hope this show is an opportunity for either for it to make the Olympia or maybe you know just to make the Olympia. I would love to see it make the Olympia most definitely, but it's going to be a tough show. Here next is number um, three, a lady I've done interviews with, and um, she, I follow her on social media, and that is uh, from Deer, Deerfield um, Beach, Illinois, Miss uh, Rashana Boswell. Now, Rash now Rashana was one point we was talking about that that Rashana was going to do Chicago, but she, you know, she had issues with her Taylor Cup. She was healing, so she said, you know, she'll do the Norfolk, the Savannah. I mean, and I think she did Savannah. Uh, no, I can't remember. She did Savannah last year. I know she did um, the Omaha. I believe she did Savannah last year. And this is an opportunity to um, maybe get to Olympia. As you know, she took second at the Chicago Pro, but she still made the Olympia because of by points. But um, this show, she has to win. This is a this is a do or die situation for Rashana. I would love to see her to make the the um, uh, Olympia, but you know, keep our fingers crossed. Next up, we have Nikki Chartrand. Now, Nikki Chartrand, she competed at the uh, um, Linda Murray Norfolk show. Um, just this, um, uh, what's about, about a month ago. And Nikki has been to Olympia. She's also, I think she's supposed to be competing at the Rising Phoenix show, which she gets the invitation on. So, um, Nikki's doing pretty good. She took third at the, um, at the, uh, Linda, at the Linda Norfolk show where, you know, and that's where I say it's still kind of controversial to me. I think she, you know, she should have been higher. You know, I think she should have second, but, um, you know, she has competed at the, both the Linda and the Linda and the, she competed at the um, Linda show last this year, and she's been like she's like a, I think she's like a standard. She's I call Nikki now a usual suspect. She competed you know quite a quite a few shows, you know. Here we have here one Miss um, Eva Dunbar from Canada, and it's you know it's great to see some women from outside of the country, you know, especially Canada. There's some great female bodybuilders from Canada. Now she competed at the Tampa Bay Pro Show, uh, just about maybe about just about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, first of this of um, this year, uh, first of this month, I mean, <laughs> and um, she uh, earned her pro card by winning um, uh, the I think it was the North American and some time ago, and she didn't do too well at the Tampa. I think she uh, might be at one of the 
bottom 10 of the show, maybe tied for 16th. But this is going to be her second bottom of the show for the season. Next up is a newcomer. You know, and this is Miss Lisa uh, Kudre. If, if I got a name wrong, I'm sorry. This one, Leo. Uh, she um, is debuting as a um, uh, bodybuilder. She competed his physique. And she's also from Canada. And this is the opportunity. I think um, a lot of women who jump up for physique, this might be an opportunity for her. It's all depending on how all the other um, competitors look and how well conditioning it is. Condition, condition, conditioning. And if she can make it, you know, there's a possibility that she might make maybe top five, you know, up to top six. Here is one Miss Lady who I'm a fan of. Is one Miss, another lady from Canada, but she is by way of Tampa, Florida, one Miss Janine Lakowski. And I'm a big fan of Janine Lakowski. We talk back and forth a bit on, on social media. I even seen her birthday gift some time ago. And um, she's, this is going to be her third show. You know, she took second at the Linda Murray show where I still believe that she should have took first. And then she made top three at the Tampa Braid show. And now she's competing at the, this, in the Savannah. And here it is that now, if you look at the point system for um, for uh, Miss Olympia qualification, she's number one because she has, I think, 11 points, 11 points or 12. And all she needs is just one more point or win the show to qualify for Olympia. So I'm going to say best of luck to Janine. Most definitely best of luck. Here we have here is Tamira Makar. Now, Tamira Makar is from uh, the UK, but she lives here in the United States. I know she, I follow her on social media. She lives around Georgia. So this is not, this is not too far for her. She can, you know, not good. It's a good drive for her between where she stays at and to Savannah. And this is going to be her, I think her fourth show of this year. She took third at the New York Pro. She also competed at the Tampa Bay, the North Fork. And I think she did Chicago also. So, you know, she's kind of busy. She's also on the points um, for the qualification. She has seven points. All she needs, if she can get enough where which she can push, you know, she might commit qualification for Olympia. So it said best of luck to her. Here we have is, is Miss Pauline Nelson. And Miss Nelson is, uh, you know, I, she, I'm a fan of hers. Now, she has competed, you know, quite a few times in Tampa Bay Pro. Uh, this year's Tampa Bay, she didn't do too good. She was in the top five in the first call out. But something happened when she got um, did a D and F, which was did not um, finish. So no details of that. You know, she had mentioned it on her social media. So I'm respectful of that. But this is the opportunity for her to possibly make the Olympia. So depending on how she, she was great, look at her amazing condition this at the Tampa at the Tampa Bay, and there's a possibility. You know, she can make top five. A possibility. This is gonna be a tough lineup. Next up that we have here is a lady who have been um you know. Uh, been talking back and forth on social media. She, she, this lady, I said, she stood up. As you know, the Puerto Rico Pro, there was only three competitors. And uh, this is one Miss uh, Stacy um, Nunez from um, California. And Miss Nunez stepped up when we needed somebody to do, it became a body for female bodybuilding. You know, I'm talking with her and we've uh, been talking back and forth. I'm hoping when she's done with the show, she will do give me an interview. The pleasure to have an interview. She's a United States service person. She served in the uh, United States Navy and the United States Army. And like I say, thank you for your service and thank you for standing up to Stacey Nunes. For us, Stacey Nunes, a fans of bodybuilding. Here we have Miss one Miss Shannon uh, Rabin uh, Pardeskis, I believe so. She is from my um, uh, next door neighbor in South Carolina. She lives in Somerville, South Carolina. She's also a massage therapist. And she competed at the Linda show uh, about a month or so ago. And she made top six of that show. And, she, you know, remember, there was only so many women. She was able to squeeze in and become, you know, make that list, which was, I think it was originally nine. And it ended up being 12 women, thanks to her. And we'd like to appreciate that. So, you know, she, there's a possibility how she does this show. If she comes in in better condition, she can probably make top five. No, I won't say top five. That's too much. I think maybe top 10. Now, that's a good chance. Maybe top 10. Now, here we are, Miss One Donna Salib. And I'm, you know, become friends with Miss Donna Salib on, on social media. Um, she's been competing some quite some time. She's from the uh, great state of Kentucky. And she competed at the Chicago Pro just about, oh, at least a little old month ago. And she was, she made top five of that show. And she's hoping to try to make maybe top five or top six at this show. So I'm going to wish Donna Salib the best of luck. Dude, I can say right now, from the list I'm looking at, there's some tough contenders, most definitely tough contenders. Now, we have a young lady right here by the name of Jenny Weckler. 
Oh, oh, Weckler. If and, and you know she is from uh, Washington State, and I, I while I was doing the research, I looked at this chick. I said, "My God, she almost looked like Alina Popa." You know, just a little short. I saw I found a picture of her with Alina at a show, and she looks just um, just slightly enough like her. And I think if she comes in with size and conditioning and the look she has, there's a good chance she can make the top five or top six. So, you know, I'm just, this is just my one of my predictions, especially, you know, um, you know, she makes the switch from, from women's physique to women's bodybuilding. And if you know, the, it seemed like the past um, few months, a lot of the physique competitors has been doing pretty well since they made a switch. Now here I have Miss, Miss Rhett, um West, and she is from Syracuse, New York. And Miss West has been, been competing sometimes. She competed at the Chicago Pro uh, last year. And, you know, mm, Wade, the feelings of it, depending on how she looks and her condition, she's a, she's a large woman. She's a pure bodybuilder, I would say. And um, depending on how her condition is, if she comes in and she if she comes in great condition, she can probably make top 10 at the most. If not, you know, come to the bottom of the or tie for because there's only 16 competitors. There's a good chance that she might tie for 16th. <laughs> and then we have here a lady, a lovely lady I've uh, been quietly quite acquainted with, a great lady. I have respect for her and her husband, one Miss Tina S. Williams. Sometimes I just go by Tina Williams, but I like to put that S in, be assertive. And you know, Miss um, Williams, she took sixth place at the Tampa Bay Pro. She, uh, I remember doing an interview, she hated the fact that last year she missed making the Olympia by one point. Now, like some of the ladies here on this um, list, she's also a Williams Strength Ambassador. And um, you know, I'm I'm rooting for Tina. I'm I am rooting for her, and I hope that she's able to make the show. Um, make she you know if she can you know she has I think I don't know how many of her points not as many, but she ha if she can crack the top three, and maybe qualify by points to make the Olympia, that's a good shot for her. So I'm I'm wishing the best of luck for Tina. I'm wishing for her the best of luck. And last but not least, we have here one Miss Danielle uh, Willis. Now, Miss Willis earned her pro card back in um, 2019, and she's making the transition from women's physique to women's bodybuilding. So, you know, and she's pretty impressive. I saw her on social media. Um, also, I have done some um, chat with her on um, some platforms, and I think she has a look to her. If she can come in with this, the conditioning and the development, you know, she might do pretty well. Uh Top six, maybe top ten, ten. That's a possibility. It's all depending on how all the other ladies look at this show. So it's just I'm just gonna be the best of luck. Now, this is I'm gonna say real quick why why I'm on here because you know as you know there's no other physique competitors, so I don't have to do them. But I want to say something quick. Now, as a few days ago, one of the ladies who followed me sent me the list for the for the Rising Phoenix show, and I saw missing from the list is one Miss Alicia Young. I'm just I'm surprised. Lisa took four flash year. And you know, I think for the I think the Rising Phoenix is still considered, even though it's invitational, it's still considered uh, a qualifier for the Miss Olympia. You know, so you know, you have to be the top two to win. As you know, the Hannah Trevino and Andrew Shaw competing this show. So I didn't see her. I said, well, I thought maybe Alicia might try to do the uh, Savannah. But Alicia is not on the Savannah list. So I think maybe she might take a mm -hmm. personal reason to take a step from the show for a bit. Um, and, um, you know, and I'm hoping, you know, we can hear what she's going on with her. She might, like I said, she might take a step away from um, competing for a while, but she is a William Strength ambassador. Um, you know, and I'm a fan of Alicia. I'm a fan of Alicia I'm Young. I mean, she's a great, has a great physique, a great body. Mm -hmm. She has, I believe, um, I think it's a uh, eight points. Cause she's right behind Monique Jones on the list. So, and I'm wondering, you know, why not take the opportunity to do this show? Cause she could win or qualify. Now, next up we have Miss uh, Stephanie Flesher and Miss Flesher has took a step back from, you know, doing any shows. She's right now, she's been on a mission and she's number, she has 10 points, which is enough points to, um, make the, um, the, the, the may qualify just to qualify because she's only a point behind Janine Lakowski and thinking she do this show, she would be able to possibly surpass if she can, you know, even if she can win the show or even get enough points, she can qualify for the Olympia. But um, she decided to step away from this, you know, from bodybuilding. We have not seen her. She, I follow her on social media. She's been doing a lot of interviews because, you know, ever since the passing of uh, Elena uh, Havani, she has become 
so got stuff into a mission. So she, you know, she also trains in other competitors, but now this is a, she's missing the opportunity to possibly um, make the Olympia. You know, I don't think because she didn't have enough time to get an invitation in for the Rising Phoenix. So that means she has to maybe do the uh, uh, you know Romanian, or maybe try to get points for next year. Now, next up here, we have Miss um, Angela Raper. Now, I call her one of you suspects. She has done the Omaha show. She has done the Chicago Pro. And I'm surprised she's not doing this show this year. I think she did it last year, I believe. And um, I think she probably took a step back. I think uh, I mentioned that I think that um, she should either um, do more of the master shows or um, just um, step away from bodybuilding. You know, it's just, you know, her, like I say with her, it's just that her development has never really changed. And she is a um, woman about 50. And um, I think she really might have to really decide what she'd want to do next. Maybe she might do a master show. This is the Baltimore show that's going to happen the same week of the Olympia. And here I got a lady who I'm a fan of. That one, one Miss Kim Buck. And I call also, she's a usual suspect. She has competed in quite a few shows. She competed at the um, Savannah last year. Um, was it, I think she also did New York. And um, what I know about her is that she has issues because her father's been sick. And she's been taking her. She's also a Wings of Strength ambassador. And um, she's been doing some of the, you know, Wings every so often have, a, every Wednesday they have a, a little competition where you can vote on the ladies. And she's been doing some of this competition. I've seen her working out. And I'm certain that she was going to do this show. But um, I think she's taken a step away from bodybuilding because I think she's focused on taking her father. She's also, she does clothing. She's a, a businesswoman. I have respect for Kim Buck. I think she's a beautiful woman. I, like I said, I love my muscle women of melanin, my black sisters. I love her. She has a great body, great physique. So um, maybe she might do the um, Romanian show. As you know, the Romanian show is great for pure female bodybuilders. And, um, you know, and, um, and with so many other shows where in which, um, you know, we have former physique competitors winning. You know, no respect to ladies who were former physique competitors, but, you know, it's just, I'm just, as I said, I'm still a, 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 a true bodybuilding fan. So, you know, but this is going to be still a good show. Now, the show is going to be streamed, and uh, this is the cost of it. So I might check it out. I know some of the ladies, so one lady sent me a thing and said, come on, check my show. Watch me on the show. I know she, <laughs> I said, okay, I might do it. And, you know, and I want to support these ladies in their, you know, in, in their endeavor. So I'm just going to really focus on the female body part. When I watch that, and that's it. You know, I, I might watch some of the other shows. I might check out. You know, there's also a figure there, and the figure women are, were pretty impressive. I'm not going to spend too much time on the men's uh, uh, <laughs> classic physique. I ain't got my mind I'm not into that. But this is going to be a great show. I mean, it's going to be in uh, Savannah, Georgia. It's going to be on the 4th. Um, you know, if you're not going to be there, you know, hey, just like I said, watch streaming. Support these women. Support these ladies. Support the sport. You know, these women, they are committed to what they're doing. I respect them and their and their commitment, and they're in a sport where they're not as getting as much respect as their male counterparts. It's expensive for them. It's expensive. Some women want to do these shows as often as they could, but the cost of it is really tough. And often I say, if you check some of my interviews and if you follow these ladies on social media, reach out to them. Say you know, offer some help. You like to be supportive. You know, you don't have to be always money, but sometimes support is good. And you know, give them good feedback on their you know on their um on their performances. But also, again, the rule is no D picks, guys. None of that. Don't be that weird guy. Don't be that weird guy. No one want to see your your tally whacker. No one want to see your your uh, your 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 uh, your pony baloney. Keep that to yourself. Be respectful. These women are committed athletes. They're wives, mothers. You know they are. You know they do this sport for a passion, and you recognize that and respect it for that. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm gonna check the um the show. And I'm hoping her the best of wish for all these ladies. And some of these ladies who I follow and support, I, I want them to, to do the very, very, very best. If not, it's always next year. You should be all the way to George Page, a.k.a. the Emperor of Female Bible Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.